you get what you ask for. Now, everybody was, not everybody, that's not fair. A lot of people were upset at Aisha Curry. Why were they upset at Aisha Curry? Because she said the NBA Finals is rigged. When, if you really digest the game and pay attention to everything that was going on, more points out of, you'll find more instances where you could say it wasn't. These people created that situation that caused for that to happen. I'm going to give you a quick example. If you're a team that shoots really well, you're not going to drive the lane a lot. If you don't drive the lane a lot, you don't go to the foul line a lot. Teams that drive the lane a lot go to the foul line a lot. Okay, just because I know that that's going to be pretty difficult for some people to break down that want to agree with what Aisha Curry said, let me say this. I'm not saying she's wrong, but what I am saying is if you're a jump shot shooting team and you're shooting a lot of threes and a lot of jump shots, you're not going to the basket and creating contact. By creating contact, you get shooting fouls. By getting shooting fouls, you go to the line and shoot free throws. So there was a big disparity between the Cavs free throw shooting and the Warriors free throw shooting in the finals. That is a direct reason for it. So when you look at the finals and you say, oh, the finals was rigged because one team shot more free throws than the other team. And it was a big difference, then no, that's not fair. Because one team drives the lane and creates contact, while the other team shoots jump shots, which do not create contact. So, where do I think that she can be correct? I'm an advocate. That when we play, when you play in a team's arena, that all games should be called evenly. Don't get me wrong. All games should be called evenly and all games should be called fair. But I do believe that if you have a team that is a rough and tumble team and they're on their home court, you have to allow for them to be to play a little rough. You have to allow for them, you know, without it getting, you know, out of just foolishly crazy you have to allow for them to have the opportunity to play their style of basketball which may be defense and rebounding if you're in the east you know and if you're in the west and you got a team that they're an offensive team then yeah you want there to be calls made if there's too much jostling about and too much grabbing and holding right so now this is where I say that she might have a point, but I'm not saying she's right. I'm saying that I don't disagree with her. I'm saying I can see how she sees what she saw. Now, when you watch the finals games and uh, the Golden State Warriors are trying to run their defenders off of screens and... You got the offensive player coming around the screen and you, the, the refs are allowing the defensive player to grab the offensive player to prevent him from getting around the screen so his man could catch up and so they can play D on him. That isn't fair. There has to be fouls called. Now, since there's no fouls called, it's definitely going to seem like there's favoritism. That's a foul. There is no, that's not a foul. It's not like you're boxing out and you're saying one guy is boxing out uh, too, uh, too, too hard or he's, he's throwing his body around such or he's flailing or, or he's, 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 he's physically attacking the other guy in such a manner when he's boxing out that it's some kind of an assault. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, is that this isn't even part of where you can, if he grabs the guy, it's a foul. It's not if he grabs the guy a little. It's not if he grabs the guy a lot. It's not if he grabs the guy too much. If he grabs the guy, it's a foul, period, plain and simple. There were a lot of grabs. 
There were very little fouls being called on the grabs. So even though I do not necessarily, I'm not saying that there has been some kind of tomfoolery going on. I'm saying that I can absolutely understand her position if her husband comes back to her and says, I'm being grabbed and she is watching the play and sees her husband being grabbed and she can see that there are no fouls being called on the grabs. You don't got to call every foul. Okay, the guy goes around the screen 10 times. He gets grabbed. Second, he gets grabbed, let's say, eight times out of the 10 times. You got to call a foul on those eight times. You got to call a foul on five of those times. I mean, you're going to miss it some of the time. But five of those times, there has to be a foul called. Five of those times, there has to be. Out of eight times, five has to be called because it has to be more than 50% of the shit going on. Now, if you call in 90% of the fouls that happen, the game is never going to go. The game is gonna it's gonna be an eight hour game if you call ninety percent of the, the the interactions that the fouls can be called on, and that's why you don't call eight fouls on the eight fouls because it's just gonna slow the game down too much and there's not gonna be any fluidity and neither team is gonna be able to get into a rhythm and it's gonna be an ugly game. Same reason why you don't call seven of the eight fouls. Six, okay, that's borderline, but you gotta call five of the eight fouls. You can't call all of them. You call five of the eight fouls. Three times the other team is going to have the advantage by holding. Two other times the, uh, there was no holding. So the guy got around, was able to do what he wanted to do. And the other five times you called the foul. And there's only five fouls in the quarter until the other team, until uh, somebody gets in the bonus or the penalty. So they're not going to keep grabbing. They're just not going to. They're just, they're just not going to keep grabbing. 